to my dying day, will stand by every word of my testimony. The 36-year-old has had quite a journey as an individual, even though her continuous relationship with Johnny Depp has garnered media attention and has shaped people's perspective of her entirely. But there is more to her and her story. Well, without further ado, let's take you through the rise and fall of Amber Heard. Keep watching the video till the end to find out everything there is to know about the actress. So, who is Amber Heard, really? And what's her backstory? Amber Laura Heard was born to Paige Parsons and David Heard on April 22, 1986 in Austin, Texas. Whitney Heard, her younger sister, is currently 34 years old. The two were brought up in a traditional Catholic family with limited resources. Heard entered beauty pageants when she was younger. Growing up, Heard became an atheist after the death of her best friend in a car accident when she was 16 years old. She left school at age 17 to pursue a modeling career in New York before deciding to try acting in Los Angeles. She finally completed a home study course and received her high school diploma. Heard was formerly thought to be as a shy student before she rose to fame in Hollywood and became the subject of a media frenzy surrounding her personal life. A former classmate recalled the actress' time in school and told the Daily Mail that she was very quiet, earning herself the nickname Amber Seen and Not Heard. Due to her shyness, Amber's classmate, however, said that she was always ambitious. She always appeared almost like her head was just off somewhere else, and she always said, I'm going to go and be an actor, and that is what I want to do. The classmate added, Heard really pumped up her career when she starred in two music videos in 2004, I Wasn't Prepared by the rock band Isley, and There Goes My Life by the country singer Kenny Chesney. Additionally, she was casted in minor support roles on several TV programs such as Jack and Bobby, The Mountain, and The O.C. She made her feature debut in the 2004 sports drama Friday Night Lights, which eventually served as the model for the eponymous TV program. The thriller All the Boys Love Mandy Lane, which had its world premiere at the 2006 Toronto International Film Festival, gave her her first major leading role. However, due to problems with distribution, it wasn't more available until 2008 in Europe and 2013 in the US. Heard made appearances in the comedies Californication and the adolescent drama Hidden Palms in 2007. Heard achieved further success in the year to come, and of course, the world was loving the actress' beauty and talent, both. Heard appearing in blockbusters including The Informers, The Joneses, Zombieland, and The Stepfather gained her the fame she needed to get to the top of the ladder. She gained so much notoriety as a result of those movies that she was casted as Johnny Depp's co-star in Rum Diary and won the Spotlight Award at the Hollywood Film Festival. And then, as well know it, this gave both the co-stars the jumpstart they needed for their relationship to have happened. Heard and Depp met by serendipity on the set, grew close, and began dating in 2012. On Christmas Eve 2013, the pair got engaged. After coming out in 2010 during GLAAD's 25th anniversary event, the screen beauty dated photographer Tasia Van Ray before marrying Depp. She was cited as saying at the time, I don't categorize myself in any particular way because I've had happy relationships with both men and women. I love the person I love because that's what counts. Up until 2014, when people claimed that Depp and Heard were engaged, the couple kept their relationship a secret. In February 2015, they exchanged vows on the actor's 44-acre private island in the Bahamas. Heard released several popular movies that year, including Magic Mike, XXL, The Danish Girl, The Adderall Diaries, and One More Time. And we really think that it was Johnny's and Heard's marriage that soared the actress her further access as it did. Actors don't always have it easy with additions. Early call times, creative challenges on set, press tours, talk show appearances, and paparazzi. Heard referred to it as continuous probing and BS. Another level of scrutiny is raised by her unpleasant trial against step. Heard was asked by Smith if she would still pursue acting if she realized it was such a circus during an interview. Heard admitted that she found the less respectable aspects of acting to be most appealing. After continuing the interview saying, Absolutely. I love so much the inconsistency and the travel, and I love very much the struggle that you're constantly, you're constantly put in a state of fight or flight. It's a constant struggle. I don't know if I could have it any other way. Amber continued to win the audience's hearts with her sassy and ambivalent role in the famous Aquaman, where she starred alongside Jason Momoa. With her acting in Aquaman, Heard set the screens of millions of people on fire and had them stunned. However, it's not at all sunshine and rainbows for the actress now. 
now. Yes, that's about right. After a jury found the actress guilty of defaming her ex-husband Johnny Depp and sentenced her to pay 15 million in damages, Amber Heard now risks the ruin of her career and bankruptcy. Although the 36-year-old financial old's position is unknown, testimony during the trial has prompted speculation about how deep Heard's resources actually are. Legal professionals claim that the Aquaman actress may go bankrupt if Depp, whom she accused of domestic abuse, did not waive the damages due to her. The Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard trial in Fairfax County, Virginia is now a media sensation. According to Vanity Fair Courts, TV's daytime ratings doubled as the trial was being broadcast. As Twitter users watch and discuss the trial, hashtags related to it have continually trended. And let us tell you something, people's obsession with the trial is real. The judgment in the defamation case involving Johnny Depp and Amber Heard was announced less than a month ago, but the repercussions are already obvious. The Pirates of the Caribbean actor prevailed in a dispute, and the court ordered his ex-wife to pay a fine of around 15 million. Heard is currently drafting a book, the proceeds of which will be used to settle a debt she owes her ex-husband. According to a source close to the actress, the actor's Hollywood career is over, as reported by the British publication The Mirror. Writing a book about her experiences and describing the events of the trial as well as the harsh criticism she faced on social media, it will help to raise money to pay the compensation that is due. She has already begun having conversations about the book and is clearly passionate about the subject. Amber wants to share everything at this stage since she has nothing to lose. The Mirror was told by someone close to the actress. Not to forget, Amber Heard hasn't just lost her career and her life. She has lost her fan following as well. Social media has been quite demeaning for the actress, as users have been extremely intolerant towards Amber. A user on Reddit expressed, It's driving me insane. I am a 21-year-old man from England who's joined a gossip sub because I can't find anywhere else that's not just repeating the same nonsense. Even middle-aged men I work with who don't even know who Amber Heard is are calling her a witch. It's bizarre. Another user expressed, Yeah, she nasty, bro. I don't want bad shooters on my side. And of course, Twitter users didn't stay behind either. Twitter had a lot to say about Amber Heard. One of the many users tweeted, Stop calling them Deptford wives. F with. A lot of people just hate Amber Heard because she's a lying, psychopathic piece of shit. I hate Amber Heard. And no, not women. Amber Heard. Women are great, and you need to stop hiding behind their skirts to excuse your failures. Another user illustrated, Some people say it's good the case was public so that everyone knows what a piece of shit Amber Heard is, but I don't know anymore because it feels like Johnny is receiving both more support and hate than fucking ever, and it's stressing me out seeing him dragged every single fucking day. However, there are still massive, if not in a great number, people who side with Amber Heard after all that has happened. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. The 23-year-old Kylie Putnam is not having fun living in Fairfax County. She currently resides in Minneapolis, but she felt motivated to travel to Northern Virginia after viewing footage posted on Twitter showing a throng heckling and jeering Amber Heard as she left the Fairfax County Courthouse following another day of testimony against her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. Putnam was surprised to see that the actress seemed to have no supporters. I believe that the lack of action is what ultimately brought me to this situation. Putnam, who appeared with a placard that read, I believe her, and was colored purple, the color associated with promoting awareness of domestic violence, said, someone needs to do something. According to Catherine Arnold, a consultant for the entertainment industry, Hurt's career has already suffered as a result of the legal actions brought by her ex-husband Johnny Depp. Additionally, L'Oreal just severed their relationship with the actress as well. She is no longer invited to promotions by L'Oreal and her contract was prolonged without any wage raises or other employment opportunities. According to Arnold, Miss Hurt should have made between 45 and 50 million dollars throughout that time span. In Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, Amber Heard will play Mira again, though with much less screen time. Another bad fall for the actress, as she continues to struggle. According to rumors, she barely made an appearance in the movie since the filmmakers wanted to get rid of her as she didn't connect with Jason Momoa's role. Amber Heard hasn't disclosed any planned projects besides Aquaman either. According to a Poptonic story, Heard is unemployed because Hollywood producers no longer believe in her. An insider in the movie business allegedly told the newspaper, you can't believe a word that comes out of that woman's mouth. Hollywood is beginning to recognize that she is a master manipulator and habitual liar. According to Alexandra Vilov of in-house PR, who has over 20 years of experience representing Oscar-nominated actors and movies, the future of the Aquaman story will be challenging and it may not exist entirely. Well, that's it for today, folks. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Is there any hope for Amber Heard as an actor now? Don't forget to like and subscribe.